Think your profile is already good enough? Well, what if I told you that with a few simple tweaks, you can get way ahead of your competitors and bring in qualified leads every month? Today, we're revealing how to fully optimize your Google business profile, something that most agencies just ignore, but it is something that will definitely skyrocket your lead generation. Well, stay tuned because we're breaking down the exact steps to turn your Google business profile into a lead generation machine. All right, let's get started. Now, how do you optimize it? Well, the first thing you need to do is get verified. Head over to google.com forward slash business, sign in and click manage now to start setting up your account. Google will ask you for your location and for your phone number. And then you'll go through a few different ways to verify. You'll either get a code to verify over the phone or you might need to provide some photo ID. With our business, we've got an actual office location. So we were able to easily verify the listing. But if you don't have a physical office, you can set up a virtual address. And once that's done, now you want to start optimizing your profile. So the first thing you're going to do is Google your company name while logged into the Gmail account associated with the listing. You'll see a dashboard that looks like this. You can edit your profile, read reviews, upload photos, check performance, and much more. Now, when you click on edit your business information, you'll see all of your business details over here. This is something a lot of people don't do. They fail to keep everything consistent across their business profile and directory citations. What you want to do is make sure your company name, address, phone number, and email are the same across every platform. This consistency is key to improving your ranking. You'll often see agencies adding extra keywords after their company name, like marketing agency or lead generation. This is in an attempt to rank better. But honestly, this doesn't work in the long run. It might rank for a week, but then Google's going to notice it and either revert it back to the original name or just delete it. So it's just not worth it. Another thing some agencies will do is have their company name listed differently across platforms by adding limited at the end on one, but not on the other. This inconsistency can hurt your listing, so make sure everything is the same across the board. The next thing you're going to do is to categorize your business correctly. You can use tools like GMB Everywhere to find your primary and secondary category. Just type in your service and location, and then it will show you the primary and secondary categories of your competitors. As you can see, the primary category will have a star beside it. And if you click on find more, it will also show you secondary categories that similar businesses are using. Sometimes it will have the secondary category right beside the primary category, like you can see over here. This gives you a good idea of what secondary categories you could be using as well. You can add up to nine different subcategories. So you could have internet marketing service as your primary and maybe marketing agency or advertising agency as your secondary. The important thing is to make sure you're choosing the right categories by looking at what your competitors are doing and then adding relevant subcategories to cover all aspects of your business. So the next thing you're going to do is write out your business description. For ours, we kept it simple. We're basically a lead generation company for tradespeople. So we've included some of the keywords we want to rank for like leads and specific trades like roofers, landscapers, plumbers, heating engineers, drainage contractors, and window repairs. You can get a lot more detailed if you want. Google allows up to 750 words for the description. And once you've written it, save your business description. Next, you're going to add your opening date, then add your phone number. A key thing here is to keep the formatting consistent across all directories. If your phone number is listed with spaces in other directory listings, make sure it's the same on your Google profile. Then add your website address. We've noticed a lot of people don't have the secure HTTPS version of their site listed. Even if your site redirects, make sure to include the full HTTPS in your URL. These small things add up and really help to optimize your listing. Next up, you're going to add all of your social media profiles. Google used to make this a bit tricky. In the past, they would pull data from the schema on your website, and it could take months to reflect on your profile. But now you can just easily add your social media links directly. One thing to keep in mind, don't add inactive profiles. We see this a lot where businesses add their social links and you click through only to find they haven't posted in five years. If your profile is that outdated, just delete it from your Google business listing. It's better to have no link than to look inactive. But if all your profiles are active, make sure to get them added. Next, ensure your address is correct. Also add the areas you serve. We've listed Essex, London, the whole of the UK and our local town where we're based. Then make sure to include your opening hours and double check that they're consistent across all directories. If you have any special hours, add those too. And don't forget about the more section. This is where you can fill out extra details like whether you offer wheelchair access or parking. Just make sure all of this is fully filled out. It's these little things that can really make a huge difference. Next, you're gonna to want to add your products to your Google business listing. Now, even if your business isn't selling physical products like clothes or gadgets, your services are your products. So don't skip this step just because you're service-based. For example, we've listed these services as our products. What you'll want to do is put the product name, categorize it, and even add a price if relevant. Then in the description, briefly explain the service, 
like job leads for residential and commercial electricians and link it through to the relevant page on your website. When users click through, they'll land on our electrical job lead page where they can watch a quick video, fill out a form or read more about the service. This kind of setup ensures that even though you're not selling physical products, you're still showcasing your services effectively. The same goes for any service-based industry like law firm marketing. You could list all different services like personal injury marketing, criminal defense marketing, or immigration law marketing. Just make sure all of your services are listed as products. On our website, we have numerous service pages for various lead generation services. For instance, we target different trades like plumbing leads, solar panel job leads, loft conversion job leads, and more. Our site is built out with hundreds of pages targeting different trades. For example, if you Google plumber leads, you'll see we rank number one on Google. That's because we've built out these service pages and linked them organically across the site. Next, go to edit services from your Google business dashboard. Now start packing all the services you provide over here. We might have gone a bit overboard with this, but the idea is to add as many relevant keywords as possible to boost your visibility. You can see we've included various terms like SEO for tradespeople, loft conversion job leads, and more. This helps Google crawl and understand what services you offer. Another crucial step is to post content regularly on your Google business profile. Every time you publish new content on your website or social media, make sure to share it on your Google business listing as well. We've been consistent with this, posting updates every few days. Now, if managing this sounds a bit too time consuming, you might consider hiring a freelancer. We've had really great results by outsourcing this task. You can set up a content posting strategy and have someone manage it for you, typically for around $30 to $50 a month. Even though Google doesn't officially consider this a ranking factor, we've seen a noticeable boost in engagement since we started. And that is how to optimize your agency's Google business listing. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you never miss our future content. If you want more tips on running an agency and getting more qualified leads, then there's a link in the description where we've built a series of videos just for you. Also, drop us a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have. We read and respond to all of the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.